Hey grade one, welcome to science. We're gonna be doing chapter 13, which is bones and muscles. So this is a picture of our body and what it looks like with our bones and muscles. So you can see on the left side, we have that peachy color, those are our muscles. And on the right side, we can see the, all the bones, which is their skeleton. So we're gonna discuss what are bones and what are muscles and what they do. All right, so you might not be sure. You could be thinking muscles like Mr. Incredible. So you might be thinking, well, muscles make you strong. And you're not wrong. Muscles do make you strong. But muscles have other functions as well. Muscles also allow us to do a lot of different things. It also protects a lot of different parts of our body. So inside our body, we have organs like our heart, like our brain, like our stomach, and like our lungs. There are a bunch of other ones, but those are some of the important ones. All right? And to, in order to protect those, we need muscles and bones. Otherwise, if we didn't have muscles and bones, we would flop to the floor. It would kind of be just like a puddle. But muscles also allow us to do something like in this. Muscles allow us to move. They allow us to stretch. They allow us to move things. They allow us to do a lot of different tasks in our body. Muscles also allow us to use force. Remember, force is what? push and pull. That, that's something that we did in class. So it allows us to use force. So our muscles are allowing us to be able to push and pull things. Maybe to pick stuff up, to carry stuff over our heads. That's what our muscles allow us to do. So muscles allow us to use force and it allows us to move. Like in that picture, that man or that woman was running. We also have bones. And bones play an important part in our everyday lives in our human body. Without those bones, we would flop into a puddle. But like I was saying before, our bones also protect us from harm to our organs. So that brain, that heart, those lungs, and that stomach of yours need to be protected. And those bones are there to also protect your body from getting harm done to those organs. Those organs are also what helps keep us alive. It keeps our heart beating. It keeps us nice and smart. It keeps us hungry, which we're allowed to feed ourselves. And it also allows us to breathe. Without any of those functions, we wouldn't be alive. All right? But also, a friend of ours told us that if we didn't have any bones in our body, think about it, if we didn't have any bones, the hard stuff in our body, what would happen? I think we would just kind of turn into a puddle on the floor. And I don't think being a puddle on the floor would be very fun. I don't think it'd be fun to get stepped on, right? So those bones help us to be able to stand tall, to help us move. It also allows us to protect our body from harm. So those are the main functions of what muscles and bones do. I mean, the main functions that we need to know in grade one. Now, a little thing that we did for fun in our Zoom lesson was we had to guess how many bones were in the human body. Do you know? All right, let's try a drum roll, ready? There are 206 bones in the human body. That's incredible. Our entire body holds 206 bones that protect us from our, our, our organs, protect us from harm, but also allows us to move and function and do really cool things. So we should always be very cautious with our body and, sp and spread so much love on our bodies. We should love our bodies for what they are. So thank you for joining this video. Um, hope you understand everything. If you don't, pop into question hour or send me a message and I'm always glad to help. All right, take care. Bye grade one.